Hey guys, Loco here, another video coming right at you. I got a haircut, if you make fun of it, I will permaban you from my YouTube, Twitch, Twitter. I will come find where you live and murder you personally. So anyways, let's talk about champion design. We have so many champions in League of Legends now, some great, some bad, and some just bonkers. Today, we're gonna talk about the badly designed champion. Not the overpowered, not the underpowered, just terribly designed. These champions are unfun to play versus. You feel disgusted when you lose or die to these champions. My god, I don't even know why they're in the game. Overall, Riot has done a great job of reworking badly designed champions, but it's quite surprising that some of the champions that I'm going to show you are pretty new champions. I, I don't know why or how. Like These are new champions that Riot is designing badly. Whatever. Small indie company. Whatever the hell we want to say. Anyways, without further ado, Let's talk about my worst design champions in no particular order. These are all just bad. It doesn't mean the first one is worse than the last one. These are just terribly designed champions. League of Legends would be better off without these champions and I cannot wait to see some of them go. First up, we have Fiddle in the middle. Fiddle is one of the oldest champions in League of Legends. He's been in the game since February 21st, 2009. That makes him almost 10 years old. And his kit really shows it. It's such an arcade kit. Let's start with his Q, his Fear. It's a targeted CC. Targeted hard CC is one of the strongest tools in the game, and Riot has acknowledged that, and they have started to take it away from champions. Old Tarek used to have a targeted stun on his Q, they took that away, so did Old Scion, he used to have a targeted stun, and they took that away. But somehow, this motherfucker, Fiddlesticks, has managed to keep his targeted crowd control. It's a 2.25 second Fear, with 575 range. So for reference, most AD carries have 550 range or below that. I don't know how or why the skill like exists, but it does. And it's not just his Q. Fiddle's E is another non-interactive, just get fucked skill. He shoots the crow that bounces around five times while silencing you. It's such a disgusting skill in lane. It allows you to push the lane for free, it will harass for you, and it also prevents the opponent from trading with you due to the silence during the crow's bouncing. Smithy in the bottom lane now. Oh, and on to Deathly. Matt Deathly having already popped the flash is very vulnerable here. Ole, gonna have things turn right back around. That's what you were talking about, Kobe. You can't make oh! these plays like that. Now they're turning right back around onto a Smithy, and Liquid bit off way more than they can chew. Oh, yeah, I hate to see that. Three members gank bottom lane. The I just do not understand how this skill is a thing. It's also good outside of lane due to how valuable the silence is in team fights. Now let's move on to the ultimate. It's pretty unoriginal. Sand King from Dota has this exact same ability and before you nerds come at me and tell me Sand King's ult doesn't blink him, Fiddle's ult didn't use to blink him either so keep your mouth shut. Honestly, it's not that bad of a design but when combined with the rest of his kit, well, it's a nightmare gameplay situation. When you lose vision of Fiddle, or you have to check into places where you don't know he might be, or you're sieging and you don't know exactly where he is, you, anytime you just don't know where he is, he has the potential to jump on top of you while you get insta-feared, and combine that with the silence as you're coming out of the fear, there is just no counterplay. Also, just by if QSS forehead is not a reply. The sheer fact that a support Fiddle can force everyone on the team to buy a QSS or risk getting one shot without a counterplay is just disgusting and unfun and should not be in the game. So then why isn't he played in competitive play? Well, support Fiddle did see competitive play, but the big counter to support Fiddle is ganking it because he's constantly pushing up and he doesn't have a real escape. If you have a melee champion with CC for your support and your jungler is a strong early game jungle, you can kill the Fiddle that way. But in solo queue, like the 99% of games that are being played in League of Legends is not professional play. It's solo queue. This champion is just so dumb. Please rework this champion fast. Now, let's move on to another one. Zoe. Oh, Zoe. I don't know how you came to be. You're a monstrosity. How do you exist? Why do you exist? Who designed this champion? Oh, certainly T. From the creator that had brought you, Yasuo Kalista, reworked the Kali. And now, Zoe! Let's keep it nice and simple for Zoe. Her W and E are some of the most unfun skills to play against in the game. Inherently, her W breaks the rule of being able to use multiple summoner spells, 
But the biggest problem comes from it breaking another core fundamental rule. It's okay that she gets to use multiple summoners. It hurts to use your summoners when you're playing versus Zoe. Why is that a thing? Like, give it a delay. Whenever I use my summoner, Zoe can't pick it up for 3 seconds. Just give it that delay and it would fix so much problems. But Riot, you just decided to hit her numbers and still keep that W as is. Ugh. Her E is also incredibly dumb. Normally, skill shots are one of the most fair things in the game. I shoot a skill shot, you can try to dodge it if you're good. If you can't, then you're gonna take punishment. And Zoe's skill shot leaves a zone that denies you even after you miss. But worst of all, when you get hit, it's this impending doom feeling of waiting for Zoe to come at you with a meteor of a Q and one-shot you. Watching yourself die is one of the worst feelings in League of Legends, and it happens so often when you get hit by a Zoe bubble. Might as well all tap since you know what's coming and it ain't gonna be fun. Moving on, we have Kiana. When Riot remade Assassins, they talked to us about meaningful interactivity. It means ability to play Assassins, it means whenever you get killed by an Assassin, you don't feel like there's nothing you could have done. You feel like, oh man, this guy was so skillful, he outplayed me and killed me. So they removed things like Silence on LeBlanc, Silence on Cassidy, and talked about how dangerous it is to give crowd control to assassins. And then they forgot everything they learned and said and made Kiana. And here comes Lyra now as well, four versus four. As the rest of the squad comes in, it's actually all a TSM, but if it equalizes by some space, Bravo builds a lot as well. Oh, they're getting and they're in the front line. They are burning down. Look at the team fight. Bjergsen's gone as oh well. Oh my God. And a four clutch. They made an assassin with two CC. What in the actual fuck? Riot, you said you wouldn't do this. How does this champion exist? You literally said you would not do this. You literally took away hard CC from Assassin. You took away silence from LeBlanc and Cassidy because you knew how toxic it was. And you gave it to an Assassin, a new champion. Why? What? Just why? How? Why? I, Riot, what the fuck? Also, you made her Q unflashable. It will follow through flash if you use it while using your E, this makes her a monster in pro play. When you have good myth and jungle and they have synergy, like, ugh, Riot, what the fuck? But don't worry guys, fear not, Riot gave her a weakness. So, one of Kiana's weakness is supposed to be she's weak at level 1 and 2 due to how she needs all 3 skills to start being strong. But that shit don't matter when pro players wave control and they freeze away in front of your turret and they just give up CS in the early levels and just not fight. Also, this champion can be played in jungle that like kind of bypasses the whole being weak at level 1 and 2 thing completely. I just cannot believe this was a recent champion release. Right, you've been so good, but she broke so many rules that you guys put in place to have a healthier game just so we can have a bratty princess shoving down three different elements through our throats. Oh my god, like... Oh. Just talking about Kiana makes me frustrated. Like, this champion should have not been released. No one really likes this champion. This champion is terribly designed. Just kill her. Just kill it. Just just burn it to the ground. Let's go to our final one, Trindamir. He's another old school monstrosity. So yeah, there's gonna be some core problems. The biggest problem with Trin is RNG. And RNG in a game isn't necessarily that bad. It creates unexpected moments and new situations keeping the game fresh. So like an example of good RNG would be the elemental dragons. You know, you get Four different kinds of map depending on what kind of dragon and it keeps the game feeling fresh but things like crit and dodge can be extremely frustrating due to it being pretty much black and white in terms of just being boringly good or bad you crit that's great you don't crit that's bad just black and white it's good or bad riot has recognized this and they removed natural crit and dodge and crit and dodge runes from the game long time ago i'm sure all you zoomers didn't know that Champions used to have 5% dodge and 5% crit naturally and randomly in lane, the enemy champion would do double the damage and like they would dodge a hit they were supposed to get killed by randomly. It was infuriating. But somehow, just somehow, Trindamir got to keep crit in his kit. I understand it's a big part of his kit and how he functions, so whatever. Maybe we just let that one be. But that's not all folks. This champion has an ultimate that will make him undying. Literally. He will not die for 5 seconds. He also has a gap closer on his kit that gets reduced cooldown every time he crits. Huh? 
huh? So this champion gets natural crit, he builds crit, so he has infinite dashes, and he's unkillable. So this is the situation he's creating. He's an unkillable champion that Chris, very short CD, gap closer, water squishy champion supposed to do versus it. Do not fucking tell me just CC him. That is not a counterplay. Hard CC is rare to come by and any champion can be countered with hard CC. Just saying use CC to counter this champion is not an actual answer. Also the split push play style. Oh man, you've seen it, you felt it before. Trendemir in your solo queue game, guess ahead, there's no stopping him, you're gonna need to send multiple people at all times to get a handle on this juggle knot, and even when you send multiple people, even when when you send multiple people, sometimes he kills them all and game's over. Yeah, that's a champion, right? What you gonna do? He's named after one of your creators. Kinda like Ryze being named after one of your creators and being broken forever. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you're doing great, keep it up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun making a non esport video, so please show the love, click on this video, show it to your friends, comment, like, subscribe, and one last thing, I'm not crazy, I'm just loco. See ya!